Good morning, students. Today we are going to start with our next chapter. That is, be honest at all times. That is lesson number four. Be honest all times means we should be always honest. We should never tell lies. Understood, students. Now let us see what is the starter. below the title of the chapter how much do you know about telling lies take this quiz and find out now there is a question that is put to you how much do you know about telling lies in a form of a quiz you have to find out in a form of a quiz means in a form of asking and telling each other and sharing you have to decide how much you know about telling lies say whether the following statements are true or false now below this picture there are four statements given to you whether these statements are true or false that you have to say now before reading these statements before going through these statements let us see what is there in the bubbles given to you with these pictures so my dog ate my homework now you can see a student here a student is giving an explanation or giving an excuse of not doing his homework to his teacher he is saying that sir my dog ate my homework it may be possible that he might have forgotten to do his homework or he might have forgotten to carry his homework to school understood so in order to escape from punishment he is telling a lie to his teacher now see what is there in the second bubble here mummy we don't know who ate the cookies now see the two children are giving explanation to their mother that mummy we don't know who ate the cookies when their mother is asking that beta tell me who has it in the cookies they are saying that we don't know who has it in the cookies now students you are you might be very well knowing that these children are telling a lie in order to avoid punishment understood or in order to escape the scoldings from their mother they are telling a lie now see these four statements most people lie several times a day now it is said that most of the peop people lie several times a day many times a day they speak lies it is true we lie more to people we don't care about that means especially to the people whom we don't care about or whom we rarely know or whom we dislike to them we tell a lie we never tell a lie to our dear ones or we never tell a lie to the people who we love liars do not look you in the eyes when they tell lie this is also true that liars when they speak they don't have a proper eye contact with you most of the lies we tell are little lies now the last statement most of the lies we tell are little lies means mostly we tell little lies students but this is 
in fact this is true but lies is always a lie lie always remains a lie whether it is a little lie or a great lie so you should never speak lies at all understood so don't follow these four things it was just to understand the chapter that is what is uh, what is the uh, what is there given in the chapter understood what is the theme of the chapter the starter is the starter will make you understand it but never follow these things given here understood never tell a lie now read this story now let us read and enjoy the story three elderly brothers lived in a large house near the city in china now there were three brothers who lived in near a city in china all of them were very short sighted all the three were short sighted short sighted means the one who can't see far off things so all of them were having bad sight or all of them were short sighted one day the youngest brother said let me take care of our money elder brother's sight is so bad he can't see how much money he is getting or giving and people take the advantage of this now one day what did the younger uh, youngest brother suggested to the other two that the eldest brother is having a bad sight he is short sighted understood students so he can't see how much money he is getting or giving to the people and people may take the advantage that means they may take the benefit of his short sightedness so it is better that i should take care of our money that is the youngest brother decided to take care of their money now see what did the other brother said as if you can see better sneed the middle one now the middle one showed disrespect and making faces he spoke what do you think you can see better if you are saying our money should be handled by the one who has best sight then it is i who should be given charge i can see better than either either of you now see the middle one is claiming that if it is a question of the best sight then i think i am having the best sight than either of you so i should take care of the money now see how the two brothers are claiming to have a better vision they are saying i am having the best vision the other uh, the middle one is saying i am having the best one they are talking among themselves they are comparing among themselves that who is having the best vision i have my doubts about that said the eldest brother let's settle this once and for all i have heard that the school is putting up a tablet inscribed with a saying now the eldest brother heard all these things and what did he say he just asked to settle the matter permanently now he suggested that he has he has heard that the school nearby is putting a tablet and something is inscribed on it students tablet is a piece of stone with a word with some words written on it that is fixed on the wall understood inscribed with a saying inscribed means we write things in a manner of 
cutting words that means we engrave the words on stones that is known as inscribed students whenever we go to historical place like kushinagar there you might you may find and you can find some written piece on the stones that is you may find something written on the stones about mahatma bodh understood those are uh, those written words are known as inscriptions they tell us about the historical place or they tell us about the particular place that we visit above the main door tonight let's go there tomorrow inscribed with a saying above the main doorway tonight let us go there tomorrow and test our vision whosoever can read the writing with the least strain will get the charge of the money then what did the elder brother decide the elder brother said there is a school nearby which is putting a tablet something inscribed something engraved on it now among all the three of us whosoever will read it properly will take the charge of the money understood whosoever will read with the least effort without putting much pressure on the eyes will take the charge of the money now all the three of them agreed among themselves agreed said his brothers in one voice all of them agreed students here strain means pressure least strain means least without making much effort understood that is the meaning of least strain without putting much pressure on the eyes good now go away and let me get some sleep now elder brother is saying good now go away and let me also have some sleep as soon as they had gone the eldest brother sneaked out of the house and went to the school where he met the caretaker now what happened as soon as the youngest brother and the middle brother went to sleep the eldest brother went out secretly understood without making noise and without telling anyone without being known by anyone that he had he has gone to the school what did he do he went to meet the caretaker of the school i heard you are putting up over a tablet uh the doorway he said can you tell me what it says now he is asking the caretaker caretaker means one who takes care that i have i have heard that you are putting a tablet on the doorway can you tell me what is written on that certainly it's a quotation from confucius now the caretaker is saying it is having a quotation quotation means with a a famous saying the famous words of 
द ग्रेट पर्सन और अ फिलोसफर एंड कन्फ्यूजियस इज अ चाइनीज वॉज फेमस चाइनीज टीचर एंड अ फिलोसफर अंडरस्टूड तो ही सेट देर इज अ कोटेशन ऑफ कन्फ्यूजियस एंड वॉट इज इट इट इज बी ऑनेस्ट ऑल टाइम्स द ब्रदर वेंट अवे चकलिंग एट हिज क्लेवरनेस चकलिंग मीन्स लाफिंग विदाउट मेकिंग नॉयज अंडरस्टूड स्टूडेंट्स लाफिंग सॉफ्टली विदाउट मेकिंग नॉयज दैट मीन्स वन वे ऑफ लाफिंग इज वेन वी मेक अ साउंड बाय लाफिंग लाइक हा 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 एंड वन इज चकलिंग वेन वी लाफ सॉफ्टली विदाउट making noise so see he is thinking himself to be clever and he is thinking that he has made fool to the other two brothers he has made fool of them now let us see what happens a little late the second brother arrived there means after some time the little brother arrived means reached there can you tell me about the tablet you are going to put up over the doorway what does it say he asked the caretaker now see the second brother is asking can you tell me what is written on the tablet that is over the doorway everybody seems to want to know said the man it reads be honest at all times now the caretaker is saying that all want to know that what is written on this tablet it is be honest all the time so that means we should never tell a lie we should be always honest is there any decoration around it now the second question that is asking is is there any decoration around that written piece the tablet has a border of flowers now he is saying the tablet is having the border of flowers around it the second brother went away very pleased with himself soon after he had gone the third brother arrived that is now the middle one went and he was so pleased that he thought himself to be very clever understood and he thought that he had made fool to the other two that is the elder one and the youngest one he thought that he had made those two brothers fool now soon after he had gone the third brother arrived now the middle one has gone now now the third brother that is the youngest one arrived now let us see what he asked from the caretaker he too inquired about the writing the caretaker told him what it was now he also asked the same thing that what was written on the what is written on the tablet now the same answer he got be honest all the times he asked if there was any other writing on it now the youngest brother said is there something else written on the tablet besides this quotation only the donor's name that is wong lee at the bottom 
said the caretaker. Now the caretaker said, there is a donor's name. Donor, but a donor is a person who donates something. Like you might have heard, donating the blood is called a blood donor. Understood, students? So he said, Wong Li is the donor's name. That is, Wong Li is the name of the donor who donated something to the school. It may be possible that he might have donated the tab. He might have donated something to the school or he might have donated that quotation to the school. Understood? So, it can be possible, it can be possible that Wong Li might have donated something. That is why it is having the donor's name as Wong Li at the bottom of at the bottom that is at the bottom of the tablet at the bottom of the quotation there is the donor's name that is Wong Li the next morning the three brothers walked to the school now the next morning, what happened? The three brothers walked very confidently. They were thinking among them. They were thinking themselves to be very clever. And they might be thinking also that they might make fool of each other now. Understood? They can make fool of each other or they might be thinking among themselves that yes, I am the clever, the clever one than the other two. Understood? Because all the three brothers went to ask the caretaker that what was written on it. Understood? Now let us see what they are talking among themselves. There, there's a tablet, said the oldest. When they drew near the entrance. Now, there's a tablet, said the oldest, when they drew near the entrance. I can see clearly, make out the writing. It reads, be honest at all times now the eldest one is saying when he drew near the entrance entrance means the passage from where we enter is called entrance understood students so he said that i know what is written on this. It reads, be honest all times. Now let us see what the other two brothers are saying. Your sight is better than I thought, said the second brother. But definitely not better than mine. Now the second brother is saying to the eldest brother that I thought your sight might be better than mine. But I was wrong. My sight is better than yours. Understood? Can you see the decoration around the tablet? Now, the second brother is saying to his eldest brother that there is a decoration around the tablet. Decoration. What decoration? There's a flowery border all around the tablet, said the brother triumphantly. Now, decoration. What decoration? There is a flowery border around the tablet. That means around the tablet there is a flowery border. 
said the brother happily means he was very happy to tell that he thought that either of that the other two brothers were not knowing about it so he was very happy that yes i have told them that there is a flowery border around the tablet very good very good said the youngest brother but can either of you see any other writing on the tablet now the youngest brother is saying that very good very good can you see what other writing is there other writing asked the second brother looking very disappointed now the second brother is very disappointed is un- he is unhappy that something else is written on the tablet which he is not knowing or which they are not knowing the other two are not knowing what other writing is there now the second brother is very curious to know what the other thing is written on it the name of the donor wrongly said the youngest brother now he is saying it is a name of the donor wrong lee understood students he pointed out at the tablet and he said that wrongly is written who is the donor can't you see it it's at the corner the caretaker they had talked to the pre- uh, to the previous evening came out just then now they were talking among themselves about what was written on the tablet understood students so what happened after that the caretaker came to whom they talked the previous evening oh you have come to see the tablet he said so sorry he couldn't put we could sorry we couldn't put it up yesterday evening we are going to put it today now the caretaker said oh three of you came to see the tablet sorry we couldn't put it yesterday evening we are going to put it today now students you can see what you can see in the concluding lines that all the three of them were having bad sight all the three of them were not knowing that actually the tablet was not there on the wall of the school and there was no inscription understood and there was no flowery uh decoration on the tablet of which they were talking understood actually the tablet itself was not on the walls or was not on the doorway of the school all the three were having a bad vision so no one was fit to be the caretaker of the money understood as they claimed very confidently in the chapter in the very earlier on the very er- first page understood so nothing of that short was there actually all of them were having bad sight understood students so students 
read the story once again and enjoy the story but students never try to tell a lie this was only a story just to read and enjoy understood students thank you meet you in your next video till then keep yourself safe keep on studying do your work regularly and properly thank you